Uh, just another big uh, notice board here. And this is this is interesting here. Uh, Grey Abbey is probably the first church in Ireland to be built in Gothic style, which was most clearly visible in the pointed arches at the east side of the church. Now, I don't know anything about architecture, but uh, every window, every arch, every doorway is pointed rather than being round head. And this is the west door of the Abbey. It's a uh, most decorative feature of this part of the church and one of the most elaborate in all of Ireland. You can't really see it because it's in the shadow there. So I have to get a wee bit closer. This is a marvellous place. And a lot of the features are still here, folks. And there's a... a a medieval wee scooter. <laughs> right, here's the things that was in the uh, in the picky. This is the fancy arch. Yeah, it's quite a sizable uh, building. This is the nave that I'm standing in. Uh, I'm standing in down in here. Hi there, there, you are here. And this is what it would have looked like. Isn't that good? It's not so different from an awful lot of our churches today. And well, that's what I'm looking at. Yeah, that's fabulous. How they can recreate this. And this uh, grave that I have just, uh, I'm just panning on to, 1736. I wonder was that, was there a bell ever up in there? And this is the chancel and crossing tower. We are now in the chancel, the eastern part of the church reserved for priests conducting religious services. And again the Montgomery's remembered there. It must have been some joint whenever whenever it was in its heyday. And it'd be great to go back in time and see it how it was. Well, there's a, a, an inscription above that. 1641. We're talking about Charles II here and Oliver Cromwell. My goodness. It's built to last. Grey Abbey. If only these walls could speak, folks. If only these walls could speak.